welcome to this time of evening prayer. It's beautiful to hear that and wonderful Advent hymn, and particularly the words of the verse tonight, which I draw your attention to. Um, o come, O come, now Lord of might. Um, o Lord, otherwise um, known as uh, Adonai, which is the Hebrew word for Lord. Now, and do listen out for that word again, O Adonai, in the Magnificat antiphon. The O antiphons uh, f- um, form the, uh, the antiphons for the seven days um, at evening prayer in the run-up to Christmas Day. And they kind of invite us to reflect upon the nature and the identity of the one who is coming to us. Jesus, uh, a humble baby born in a stable, um, but he's no ordinary boy. He is, um, he is the Emmanuel. He is the Adonai, the Lord, God with us. And uh, we begin, as always, with the Angelus, um, remembering and commemorating and honoring that moment when Our Lady received the good news that she would conceive Jesus in her womb. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O most holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, thy Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. The hymn is number three in the breviary, if you're following in the breviary. The co-eternal Son, the maiden's offspring see, the servant's form Christ putteth on to set his people free. Daughter of Zion, rise to greet thine infant King, nor let thy stubborn heart despise the pardon he doth bring. Let deeds of darkness fly before the approaching morn. For unto sin tis ours to die and serve the virgin born. Our joyful praises sing to Christ that set us free. Like tribute to the Father bring and Holy Ghost to thee. Amen. The one who is to rule will come from Zion. The Lord Emmanuel is his great name. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise him, servants of the Lord, who stand in the house of the Lord, in the courts of the house of our God. Praise the Lord, for the Lord is good. Sing a psalm to his name, for he is loving. 
for the Lord has chosen Jacob for himself and Israel for his own possession. For I know the Lord is great, that our Lord is high above all gods. The Lord does whatever he wills, in heaven, on earth, in the seas. He summons clouds from the ends of the earth, makes lightning produce the rain. From his treasuries he sends forth the wind. The firstborn of the Egyptians he smote, of man and beast alike. Signs and wonders he worked in the midst of your land, O Egypt, against Pharaoh and all his servants. Nations in their greatness he struck, and kings in their splendor he slew. Sion, king of the Amorites, Og, the king of Bashan, and all the kingdoms of Canaan. He let Israel inherit their land. On his people, their land he bestowed. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The one who is to rule will come from Zion. The Lord Emmanuel is his great name. Stand steadfast. You will see the helping power of the Lord. Lord, your name stands forever unforgotten from age to age. For the Lord does justice for his people. The Lord takes pity on his servants. Pagan idols are silver and gold, the work of human hands. They have mouths, but they cannot speak. They have eyes, but they cannot see. They have ears, but they cannot hear. There is never a breath on their lips. Their makers will come to be like them, and so will all who trust in them. Sons of Israel, bless the Lord. Sons of Aaron, bless the Lord. Sons of Levi, bless the Lord. You who fear him, bless the Lord. From Zion, may the Lord be blessed, he who dwells in Jerusalem. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Stand steadfast you will see the helping power of the Lord. I look to the Lord. I will await the God who saves me. Great and wonderful are your deeds, O Lord God the Almighty. Just and true are your ways, O King of the ages. Who shall not fear and glorify your name, O Lord? For you alone are holy. All nations shall come and worship you, for your judgments have been revealed. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I look to the Lord. I will await the God who saves me. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say rejoice. Let all men know your forbearance. The Lord is at hand. Come to us and save us. Lord God Almighty, come to us and save us, Lord God Almighty. Let your face smile on us, and we shall be safe. Come to us and save us, Lord God Almighty. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Come to us and save us, Lord God Almighty. O Adonai and leader of Israel, you appeared to Moses in a burning bush and you gave him the law on Sinai. O come and save us with your mighty power. My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He looks on his servant in her lowliness 
henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me, holy his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He puts forth his arm in strength and scatters the proud-hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones and raises the lowly. He fills the starving with good things, sends the rich away empty. He protects Israel, his servant, remembering his mercy. The mercy promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his sons forever. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O Adonai and leader of Israel, you appeared to Moses in a burning bush and you gave him the law on Sinai. O come and save us with your mighty power. The voice of John crying in the wilderness is echoed tonight in the voice of the church. Make our hearts ready, O Lord. For your coming to us in grace this Advent. Make our hearts ready, O Lord. For the work all people must do in creating a more just world. Make our hearts ready, O Lord. For the understanding we will need for our families and our friends. Make our hearts ready, O Lord. For our death for our judgment, for eternal life with you. Make our hearts ready, O Lord. This evening we give thanks that Ray Trainer is now out of hospital and back at home. We also give thanks that Margaret Buxton is doing a lot better after a period of illness. And we pray that they may both continue to experience the closeness of the Lord's healing presence. We pray for Stephen O'Brien a seminarian of this diocese who will be ordained to the diaconate tomorrow at St. John's Seminary in Monash. We pray also for his classmates who will be ordained as deacons for their respective dioceses. Stephen Corrigan, Matthew Donnelly, David Hunter, and Paul Awuna. We pray for the sick. For Dominic, who underwent surgery today. For Sister Helen Costigan, a former lecturer at St. Mary's University in Twickenham, who has recently been diagnosed with cancer. And we continue to pray for all the sick known to us, including Mal, Michael, Megan Evans, Gerard, Carol Pickett, Antonio Serrano, Julia, Robert Vickers, Ed, Chantel, Carol's daughter, Naj Ali, and Audrey. We pray for all those who have died recently or whose anniversaries occur at this time for David Lloyd, who died this week, for Beryl, whose anniversary is today, 
for Maureen Henley, who passed away in the early hours of this morning. And for Sheila Preston, who died yesterday. We continue to pray for the recently deceased and their families. Gary, Roberta Kossian, Maureen Burgess, Hortensia Laterra, and Gordon Cameron. We commend these and the souls of all the faithful departed to the mercy of God, that they may rest in peace. May the God of all consolation give peace and comfort to all who grieve, especially family members and friends. And we pause for a moment to offer up to the Lord our own personal intentions. Loving Father, hear the prayers we offer to you. And in your mercy, answer them. Bless all those that we have prayed for with the presence of your Holy Spirit. And we ask you to strengthen our faith. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. By the long-awaited coming of your newborn Son, Deliver us, Lord, from the age-old bondage of sin. We make our prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We turn now to uh, our Blessed Mother and offer a decade of the Rosary, um, praying with her and asking for her intercession. Today being a Friday, we reflect on the sorrowful mysteries. Perhaps it seems a bit strange to reflect on the sorrowful mysteries during this season of hope. And yet we remember, of course, that the reason why Jesus comes to us is so that he can go through the passion uh, in order to, to win for us uh, salvation. So today we contemplate our Lord carrying his cross. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, most holy Mother of God. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. Amen. We say now the Advent Antiphon to the Blessed Virgin Mary. Mother of Christ, hear thou thy people's cry, star of the deep and portal of the sky, mother of him who thee from nothing made, sinking we strive and call to thee for aid. O oh, by that joy which Gabriel brought to thee, thou virgin first and last, let us thy mercy see. Pray for us, O most holy mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Christ. 